Are we on? See, it's on! You so good! <laughs> I like this. Already puts it on. Is this thing on? <laughs> I know. People, I'm bonding with my microphone. Especially nowadays, people want to see truth. Definitely. They're like, hey, they're look dumb. at you. I just want to say, thank you. Awesome. <sighs> thank you, Tracy. <laughs> this is Tracy E. <laughs> Bregman. What's E? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Yeah, because there were so many Tracy Bregmans I needed to be, you know, well, different. Yeah, exactly. I like the E. It's very classy, mm-hmm. don't you think? It was classy until I married... Somebody with the last name Wrecked. <laughs> Tracy Erect. No. So all my credit cards when I got married came in Tracy Erect. I'm like, I am not going through my life like this. It's awesome. So I became Tracy Bregman Wrecked. And so there was a whole thing because I was on Young and Restless at the time and they kept having to change my name card, you know, for the end credits because I, oh, it was just a disaster. But <coughs> that's kind of cool though, Tracy Erect. I'm now the ex Erect. Um, what do you think of mm-hmm. my furniture? I was going to start with, I'd like to pat myself on the back that we are in front of my one and only DIY project that I personally redid. Oh, really? This Your is Tracy, break front? This is Tracy Bregman's furniture. <laughs> she moved and it didn't fit in her new house. Right. And so you were I, nice to buy it. I bought it at a very reasonable price, I might say. I was very, very nice to my friend, Michelle. And... And redid this whole thing. This she redid was, that. Yeah. That's beautiful. So Thank just you. so you know, now when you watch, it, the, you'll a piece always of me. know there's always a piece yeah. of Tracy. Um, we have to give a shout out to our, our cameraman and lighting um, man extraordinaire, Tovin, for getting engaged last week. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. You're welcome. You don't see Tovin, but he's super rad and super handsome. And he got engaged to our friend Stephanie, who's Aww. super beautiful and super rad too. That would be oh, you're quiet again. <laughs> Shit. I don't know this when is, I'm supposed to talk or not. This is Paige. <laughs> this is Paige. You recall her from a couple shows ago. She's now uh, she and Sevier are our producers because our producer Bodie moved. Aww. He moved. So Bodie's but you've not got the fabulous. Nice way of saying he quit. He quit. Well, there's he that. He was like, this show, I'm not going to go down that. with this ship. Right. Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm getting out now. And Rob is our sound man. And Rob did sound on the Stafford Project. And Rob was also an actor in the Stafford Project. Oh, very he nice. played the sound man <laughs> on the Stafford Project. Wow. Life imitating art. <laughs> you were going to be on I, the Stafford Project. I know. What happened? But, no, I think that they. Did they you, are you cut me? No, remember they said you you guys couldn't yes. do it. And then I was like, fuck that. And I went to Angelica, right. who's super rad. And I was like, are you are you barring the actors from doing this? And she was like, no. Then it changed, but then you worked. We won't be cutting that part out. Because I really want this to be an honest fucking show. It is an honest fucking show. Yeah, it is. There you go. It is. And um, I would like to say, now I'm a crier and I may cry. I'm truly a crier. I have to open because I, I was going through. Um, I have to open with what an extraordinary friend Tracy is. Aww. Tracy and I have been very, very tight friends for how long? For a very long time. I'm just oh, we're not going to say. We're not going to put. Any. Oh no, we can put a number. Oh, I'm just God, trying to who's remember. At the door? Because oh, it's, it's Starbucks. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> someone's Starbucks at our door. Ringing. This is how our show is, by the this. way. Let's it's get just Starbucks. all. I mean, I'm like, I'm not going to cut this out because oh, it's like part happens. of. She's just going to... And by the way, I'm very happy that, that you have security now. I like that, oh. that you have that door and it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it thing. is cool. It makes right. me feel better. It does? It does. I feel better. For you. Be, that It's all enclosed. Yeah, because I was a little concerned because you were a little open. I, I was a little open. Networks. I live on the corner of a quasi-busy street. No, but you have a son. You have a daughter, but she pays attention. I'm a mother of sons. I understand. Yeah, I know. Boys run. Yeah, they, they do. They and bolt. So I'm so glad you have. Yeah, so it's all closed in now. Right. It's all closed in now. And yeah. then I have a security door. Starbucks is here. Yay. Are they doing the Starbucks? Starbucks. I don't support their use of GMOs, but I like them. <laughs> okay. That's all. <laughs> okay. okay. So How many anyway. Years have we been friends? Uh, we, don't have to, we don't have to name it. I don't mind naming it. I'm just, I just can't remember. Um, I'd say, well, we were always acquaintances. Other. We were always acquaintances, but right? Friends, friends. 
I think when I came back in 2001, 2002. Yeah, when you came back. Yeah, that's mainly. When we became and then really you started close. working with Christian. Right. How, what do you think of Christian? Let's, what do you think of him? I love my TV <laughs> hubby. I really do. You know I Christian. Too. Yes. Yeah. He's awesome, isn't he? He's great. Mm-hmm. He's really it's great. his birthday yesterday. <gasps> Day before. Uh, something uh, like that. Uh, yeah. So you should say happy birthday to Happy him. birthday. <laughs> well, We're getting drinks so come in us. October. So this is way, way past. This is an October show. Okay. Um, happy October, everybody. <laughs> happy October. Um, w- w- do you think he's nice? Yes. <laughs> You're best friends with him. I'm We're like, not best friends. No? No. <laughs> a lot of people think that, I'm so kidding, um, a lot of people think that he is the sperm provider to my children. A lot of people well, think that. And people put a lot of time into thinking who the sperm provider is? Uh, I, well, a couple people have said, okay. is it Christian? And I think in front of Christian one time I was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> Was he was he slightly yes, offended? Yes, yes. yes. Of Why well, wouldn't you be? Uh, meanwhile, I, but I just meant it like that would uh, with both of our our vibes that would just be like crazy. Anyway, what I was saying before is, um, okay, for Starbucks is here. Do you want to? Yeah, I, does and nobody wants? Does, no, I'm good. does anybody no, want a Starbucks? Oh, dude, I feel horrible. No, I. I have that big plan. Starbucks. Be round oh. two. Round two. Yeah, definitely round two. Round two. This does not look like a one rounder crowd. Okay, enough. I'll save it for Looks when like you come back multiples. in a couple months. <laughs> I'll save it. I'll save the coffee. I'll freeze it. It'll mm-hmm. be good, right? Um, Tracy is an extraordinary friend. Yeah, we've been friends for a while, but she's an extraordinary friend because she was Very the sweet. only one on um, at, at when I worked at YNR. She was the only one that I told what I was going through um, with starting with adoption. I think that you were part of the adoption part too, was. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, starting with adoption. I don't know why. Why did I choose to tell you? Because I was going to keep it to myself because I just didn't want a lot of opinions. But I'll tell you something about Tracy: is she is the most non-judgmental person I know. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. She's the most non-judgmental person. Now you will speak up if you think like I'm going down a bad road, but I'm never really going down a bad. No, you no. really don't. Yeah, but she is just like, if that's what you need to do, then do it. It's pretty For extraordinary. Sure. There you. aren't a lot like that. You're pretty non judgmental. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, you're very judgmental. Really? <laughs> that's very funny. I mean, that's very so funny. <laughs> but let's just say you've been an amazing friend to me sure, and yeah. spoke up when you felt there was an issue. You have. No, you're not judgmental. Um, I did. I did. I spoke up. I spoke up only when I was like, this is a bad thing. Right. And this I really appreciated thing. it because you <laughs> snapped you? me into like reality. I was like, this <laughs> is a bad thing. <laughs> Michelle's saying it's bad. Like, Why did I not? <laughs> I like the way I told you too. Yeah. Because I said, I'm just going to tell you this right now and you're going to remember. Mm-hmm. And I never forgot it. <laughs> I think that's a good way because, uh, because friends love each other. And we right. don't want to see each other um, no. be fucked up. But Especially by... By dudes, yeah, right. That's when that's when it can get For tricky sure. too. Like you go in, you say, and especially when they break up, and you go, "He is." A, I'm so glad you separated from him. He's a horrible person. Then they fucking get back together, yeah. right? And then you're the odd man out. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It's it's never a good. Thing. But you and I would never hesitate to really say that to each other. I think no, because like I, if you're really in love, I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna mm-hmm. be like, I don't really like, but I. Don't, but when when it gets uh, funky, then then it's like you got to speak you, up. What are you doing? No, you got to speak what are you up. Doing? Right. So Tracy was the only one I told that I was going through IVF, and I I, I have to communicate this one story. It's going to make me look horrible. Oh no. Okay, but it's okay. going to really make you look good. Okay, and that's the kind of woman I am. You are. <laughs> it's the kind of woman I am that I'm willing to look horrible. Okay, so I, I don't know if anybody watching has ever gone through IVF, but it's actually the, the w- worst. <laughs> um, it, it, there are worse things, okay? But it's, it's pretty gnarly because what it's really doing is it's shutting off your pituitary gland, which is your reproductive gland that's telling your body. It's shutting it off, and then the drugs are make, making your body uh, go into overdrive. And, and, and it's like you're, a woman makes uh, drops one egg a month. Um, these drugs make you uh, drop like 35 eggs. 
Oh. And so you can imagine like how you are. You're jacked, right? You're so jacked. Like I explained it to one of our guy friends and I said, imagine your testosterone level a hundred times what it usually is. And he was like, Ooh, wow, that's really what I compare it to, you know, for the dudes to understand, right? So you're you're not you're not even a lot of women. You're like past that. You're like too many women in a room together who are PMSing is what you are. It's <laughs> a great analogy. Oh god. That's what you are. Yeah. And so I chose to keep myself in my house because I couldn't trust my reactions to things. I chose <laughs> so Aww, sad. Honey. It was so sad. No, it just like makes me cry because then I remember and I remember like how horrible it was. But I chose to keep myself in my house because I couldn't I could not trust my reactions to to things. So I worked and I came home and I stayed in my house hmm. and watched the news. Bad idea. Oh, the news. <laughs> yeah. That was a bad idea. Yeah, and remember yeah. when that dude that that dude who had been a woman but was now a dude got pregnant that yes. happened i'm like oh even even yeah. the fucking men are getting pregnant <laughs> it was like really funny <laughs> like great great even dudes are getting pregnant and i'm not so we w i was at the height of er uh, and we were going out to lunch to the grove which is there's a big shopping center that's right next to the studio at young and the restless and this woman came walking toward us, very pregnant, and looked like she was 105. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, she walks past, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? To Tracy. I said to Tracy, are you kidding me? Seriously. Oh, my God. Like, it was just like, it's almost like it's all I saw. And she said, no, I think she's younger than you. She just looks older. Like, and, and this, that's a great example of, this was constantly Tracy every day. I was like, oh my God, and she was like, no, I just think that maybe you should just have some hot tea. And she would give me hot tea. Or I just think, here, let's go out and have lunch. It was, you're really beautiful. Yeah, thank you. It wasn't lost on me. My pleasure. And I'm a crier. But it was really extraordinary. You were an extraordinary friend during that well, time. You've always she, been. Well, you, and then she was at the, um. I'm touching her leg right now. <laughs> um, she was at uh, at the when the surrogate got the amnio. Mm -hmm. You were there, and then you know, like Tracy's so lovely. I'm like just kind of standing there as the needles going into her belly, right? I'm like, oh, because I don't know what this is like, and Tracy's like really, you know, close to her and holding her hand. I was holding her hand because I had been <laughs> I had been through it, but thank God. Well, I was with you during one of the IVFs. Remember? You I took yeah. I was holding your hand during one of them. I was. Was I unconscious? No, I was with you. Remember, God, it was the guy who that. our kids had been on the soccer team, and he started asking me about my family, and you're like, hello, oh. I'm here. Oh, remember? the fucking doctor who yes, came on that, to me. Yes, that one. I didn't yeah, want, my I didn't IVF, want to say anything. I, my IVF doctor who came on to me. Didn't God, want to say anything. I remember that. Yes. Yes. And when got quiche after her? Come on. Oh my God, How do you quiche. not remember that? Oh, my God. Yeah, she brought the quiche to my... Oh, yeah, that was a doctor who said he had feelings right. for me. Right, yeah, that was great. But I had gone... He saw my badge, like, five... Like, how many times did he see my badge? Can you blame him? Yeah, I, I couldn't blame him either. As horrible as it was, I was like, well, Michelle, as we know, you're My piece vagina of ass. is not, is not you know? pretty. I know that for sure. So... <laughs> I could go into you <laughs> calling me one day and said, I need to ask you something. Do you remember the labia conversation? Yeah, I mean, we, we've had a few. I've had this because I just, first of all, I don't think vaginas are pretty, period. And I think mine really is not pretty. But you guys will take it anyway. Not you, you too. But they'll take it anyway. So well, he's okay. engaged. He's off. They're both. Right. But, you know, I don't, I don't want them to think I'm coming on to them. <laughs> is there sexual harassment? I'm, we're all here. He has here. a girlfriend. He has a it's, girlfriend. He's it's on away. tape. We know. Um, so, yeah, that's right. I do yeah. remember. I think I blocked it out because I'm everything sure. with him was blocked out. I'm sure. No. Yeah. No, I, I was very honored to be in the room, uh, not only for the amnio and to be there for you. And um, I was 
holding your surrogate's hand. So I you felt were. It. I thank God for you because I was a cold. No, you were not. You you were hag. looking at, and then we got to so, find out that Natalia was a girl, was a girl, and I had told you that she was a girl. Do you I remember? Know. Yeah, um, Tracy went to a psychic. No, no, I hiked. Oh, I thought you went to a psychic. No, th- this will now tell you how potentially <laughs> you're all gonna go. Oh, I hiked one day, and Michelle had been through so much. And I hike in Shumash burial grounds. And at the very top, I always say magic happens on this hike. And at the very top, I heard Natalia or whoever say to me, I'm a girl and I'm coming through, I'm healthy. And I got to the bottom of the, of the mountain and I called Michelle and I said, this one's gonna be it and it's a girl. The transfer. And she yeah. was three weeks, you, your surrogate was only three weeks pregnant at the time, so. And I don't think we knew. Yeah, I don't think we knew. It yet. was you had just you no. It was knew. before we knew, and then I told really? her I called. Yeah, and I said that it did work. And so when I was in the room, I just got chills. And to be there with you when we found out that it was a girl and that she was healthy was like, oh, it was like one of the great moments of my life. Mm-hmm. And then cut to Natalia is in preschool, <laughs> right? And you know those little things that they do, like what's your favorite color? What's your favorite animal? Who's your best friend? So I'm reading it, and it's up on the wall. It says, what's your favorite color? She says, green. What's your favorite animal? Dog. Who's your best friend? Tracy. (laughs) Natalia and I have just always had this thing. We just always have. Tracy, at two two years old, two and a half years old, Tracy's her best friend. I'm like, oh, my God. I brought it to work. I was like, Tracy. (laughs) I was so happy. How many people did that piss off? (laughs) <laughs> no one, no, but no one. It made you very happy, as it, it did. should, as it, it did. should. It made me very happy. Um, let's cut to sex. Oh, <laughs> Tracy. Oh, is she knows me well. Extraordinary. <laughs> now, Tracy and I have come to the same kind of epiphany at the same at the same time. Actually, I'd like to I'd like to talk about this. Okay. Um, I have my notes on you. Oh, okay. And we're going to talk about that. Now we've come to the same thing where we're, we're sort of like, um, if we want to do this, let's do this. Right. There's if no it rules. doesn't work, if there are no, if it doesn't work out, it wasn't going to work out anyway. Right. You know, there's, and I think that like the whole, like, I'm going to wait until the third date. Don't you guys kind of like, don't you kind of know that women do that? They wait till the third date. Yeah. yeah. Is it usually yeah, the third date? Yes. They're both saying yes. Yes. Give or yeah, take. it is. It's a Give third take date. A date. It is. It's what a third date. date. Yeah. yeah, Rob said, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, it's a third date. That That's that? weird. It's if you mm-hmm. like it, and then if it doesn't work out, you don't go. Oh, it's because I had I gave my vagina too soon. Oh, I gave myself. Listen, dating <laughs> means there's a possibility of the future. Seeing somebody means there's not a snowball's chance in hell. Yeah, There's a future, right? And Tracy has a but. really great attitude because she just like she sees someone and she just goes for it, and I think that's really great. Now I get a little shy. I'll be honest. I get like oh, I get like I'm too close to the sun. Oh, God, look at that hot guy over there. I, oh, but it's not I'm like gonna we're wait at a bar and I'm like here. No, it's great. I think it's I think it's great. You go for what you want. Well, I mean, in saying that, I like to have a relationship. I'm a relationship girl. No, you totally are a relationship I'm a total girl. relationship girl. And, and so and, am I, because it's fun. It's yeah, fun I'm monogamous. Too. I like mm-hmm. to be with one person mm-hmm. at a time. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to clarify that. Okay. okay. I'm too busy There's too to, much, yeah. to have that much action in my life. You know, okay. like I got, right? I got, right. I got kids. I've got this skincare line. Oh, convenient. <laughs> convenient. It's right yeah. here. Yeah, I was now, doing the same I'm, thing with the label. I'm going to mention, like, that's interesting that you mentioned that, oh, but we're not whores. Uh, because, and if I was a whore, I would own it. And I'm, I'm really not. But You're if not. I was, if I was, I'd own it. Um, just like somebody asked me um, on social media, they said, it's time for you to come out. What? You know, because they thought I was a lesbian. Oh, for them. And I re- I responded to them, listen, if I were a lesbian, I would have already been out. That's an excellent, you know? excellent answer. Because I would never hide who I am. No. Ever. But. There's nothing I, wrong with I that I met either. somebody. I met somebody at um, doing my hair, getting my hair. And they had slept with a huge celebrity. Oh. Right? A huge celebrity. Hmm. Huge celebrity. Pay. So. So. Yes. Anyway, uh, 
he um, had a three, met these girls in a bar, brought brought them to his house at a three way, and and I was like, wow, that's like, you're such a big celebrity. Do you want to do that? And somebody, I said, that's like, and somebody said, no, he's blah blah blah. What does he care, right? But she that the part of the story that I found fascinating was he had on a shirt, a long t-shirt the entire time. Like he didn't take off. <laughs> That's what, that did he have socks on too? Yeah, I don't know, but I mean, he had his shirt on because she thinks like he was like a little embarrassed with his but, gut. Oh, what's a gut? Now, okay, but can we do that? Can can women get away with that? Wearing like a he's shirt? he's a huge celebrity and he has his shirt on the whole time because he has a big gut. Can I... As a woman, get away with that. Like, ha- I sleep with a guy and have a big shirt on. Well, not a big shirt. I got a big gut. No. If you're wearing like a see through that- tank top or no, something no, sexy. No, it was, it no, was like he a was Hanes hiding shirt. His gut. He was, yes, oh, he was my. hiding his gut. If I want to hide my gut, yeah, and that I would have not a shirt be on, sexy. Does that work as a woman? No. Yes. A bit. What? <laughs> <laughs> Like I, I'm talking uh, about a boxy. No, because they'll be like, "Baby, take off Not your like shirt," because they yeah. want your boobs. And no, it doesn't work. It's Men a are visual standard, creatures, and it's Am not I right? right. Like this big celebrity got to wear a shirt, and he got two chicks coming to his house. Yeah. If I was like, "Hey, first of all, a woman doesn't want two guys. We don't want two guys." But if I'm like, "Come to my house," uh, I'm I got my big shirt on. <laughs> it's not no, I guess work. what I'm saying is you. Can, it's wrong. You can artfully. I want to wear a shirt to cover my see. belly. I like artfully. Sometimes cover. I'm PMSing. I got a belly. I want to cover it too. <laughs> I want to cover my belly. It's wrong. I say you try it. You say yes? I you say, say you, you can. If you have a sensitive area you're not a fan of, you can still have the things you like out and that stuff covered somehow. You know what? I have a friend who wears a corset because she doesn't like her middle area and she has this really hot corset and that's... And she wears that during sex? Yes. Every single time? Well, from what I've heard. Would you find that odd, gentlemen? It could be hot. I don't know. What do you think? It could be like a like a kinky once. Thing. Yeah, right. Once, once, once. Right. once or twice. But every single time. As a normal thing, it'd be weird. Yeah. <laughs> it would be weird. Let's talk about your sons. I was just gonna say, if my sons are watching, please, their first stop. Sure watch. <laughs> Turn it off. Oh my God, your sons! This is the first thing they're gonna watch when this comes out, for sure. Well, maybe the second thing. Um, <laughs> your sons are pretty extraordinary. They're both gorgeous. They're Thank both you. so They're smart. Boys. Thank you. So smart. They're good and boys. So, and and such good manners. You've done a really Thank great you. job. And they're funny. They're like Very my funny. favorite people to be around. Yeah. Thank Besides you for that. Me. Besides you. Besides Auntie Michelle. Besides me. Right. Um, yeah, they're pretty great. Do you want to talk to, about them more? My sons, well, my older son, Austin Recht, is, uh, has just joined. Is his middle name E? You didn't? No, he's okay. Austin yeah, Alexander Wrecked. A wrecked. He's a wrecked. Totally. I know. It's still cl- close. I tried to stay away from the E, but it <laughs> didn't work. Um, and he's in residential real estate in Beverly Hills, and he just joined Valerie Fitzgerald's team, which is mm. very prestigious. So it's so. I used to know her. You did? Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. so amazing for me to watch my sons like blossom mm-hmm. and grow into these incredible men mm-hmm. and um, to kind of not only obviously have a a big part of it, but to also, you know, you let them go and, and you you watch them and see what they make of themselves in this world. And I couldn't be prouder yeah. of both of them. I know, they're amazing. They're both they're good amazing. boys. Very and good boys. My younger son, Landon, he's is like, in music. He's like 6'4". That tall, yeah. Obviously from me. <laughs> from your, her, her ex-husband. No, he's 6'4". Is 6'4". Like yeah. And um, so he's doing music and acting. Incredible. Yeah, his music's yeah. really good. And he's too. beautiful. He is. Yeah. And he's a be- they're both beautiful. They both have beautiful souls. Yeah. You know, they're very compassionate. They're, they're beautiful on the outside, and that's most important. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real in this in this day and age. That brings it is us, LA. Well, that brings us to this dating site. Dating site? That my assistant that my assistant said you have to join this dating site. Which one? We're, I, I'm not going to say. Oh. Okay, I'm not going to okay. say. Is it the celebrity it, one? 
that everyone's talking about? Well, I joined a dating site. Okay. All right. And You'll tell me after. And, like um, <laughs> yes, that's what but I was I did it. I did it yesterday, right? Yeah. And, How's it um, going? and anyway, they match you, they match you on it. Mm. And it's just pictures and it's just your name. And it's not like you don't go, oh, I like walks on the beach. You know, no, because you but, have to have a certain amount of Instagram followers, right? Before they accept you. Oh, yes. Really? Mm -hmm. They thought they look in that. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Well, the first person that came up for me was someone that I had dated, right? Oh, my God. So when I had dated, I can't wait to hear this. Who couldn't get wood? <laughs> I know exactly who this is. <laughs> you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine why you didn't try to date him again. <laughs> did you swipe left or did you, know, you do that you, on that one or what do you do on that you, one? You, 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 I don't want to say because then people know what I'm talking about, but I, hmm. I moved on. Listen, there's no way he ever, because if, if he came up for me, I came up for him. Like so to works? speak. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So to speak. Interesting. Yes. Um, you'd think that I might want to give it another try. You know, sometimes right? it's nerves it's because time. look, they're with the staffer. They're like, holy shit. I don't think he had nerves, but he thank just didn't you. have wood. He just didn't have wood. Exactly. <laughs> but on bone. Um, he didn't have wood. Has that ever happened to you? You know. Oh, no, I don't. Yes, you do. Ooh, We've had this conversation. Oh, I'm not doing it oh, with okay. two of the largest <laughs> microphones ever <laughs> in the history. You no, know, mine's under here. No. No. Okay, well, you'll tell me after. Of course I will. Uh, Oh, I forget. I know. That's why, you know, Shoot. Was tell you things. Was someone really handsome? <laughs> Were they drunk? Because sometimes that happens. No. I don't sleep with drunk people. Well, oh. Wow. I don't think that's good a good, I don't think it's a good thing. Good for you. I don't think sometimes it's a good way need, to start. They need to be drunk. A little, like, cocktail is one thing, <laughs> but drunk? No. no. Oh, drunk. Like, no, no like, not sloppy. Like, like sloppy. Like, no, no, no. no, no. no. We don't want that. Because so, you and I don't drink. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't want to make it because then people well people no, no, turn no. me into like an Amish person. No, 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 no. By you and, you and I are not I drinkers. Don't, I mean, I'll have a cocktail here and there, but you I don't. Did. Actually, you did the other night, and I was surprised yeah, when we were at AOC. You had like a glass of champagne or something, didn't you? No. What did you have? You had a cocktail. Iced tea. I knew. No, it was not tea. your iced tea. All yeah. right. We'll go did with I that. Have a cocktail? She had a nice tea. Okay, well, the guy who came up at first, dinner. but a lot of some famous people came up. I know. That's the app for famous people. And My friend in Malibu is having a blast on that. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, have you, are you thinking of doing that? Because no. I, no? Mm -mm. I'm too afraid to do it. Although oh, that, would be, the, that don't would be, that would be kind of the, the one that I, if, if I were to do it, that would be the one I would do. Um, yes, 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 Paige. I want to come back Please, to Please, Paige, come back no to the app. Situation. No wood situation. Oh, wood. okay, yeah, back, to, no back wood. to the no, no wood. wood Thank TV. you, the Paige. The only acceptable reason for no wood is alcohol. Physiological. <laughs> alcohol sun. and or another fear. substance. Yeah, no, you don't no. think fear, fear or is not, no, I, nerves? It's not the guy that's nervous. <laughs> Like in any way, shape, or form. Like, don't, you know, I get Don't it. be nervous don't when be you have me in bed. Yeah, this don't is be like, a you person. hit. This is like, you, you got me. That's yo. right. Yeah, like, ding, 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 ding. Oh, you <laughs> got me, yo. Although, from my Do you say that? You got me, yo. <laughs> I, could, I could say it. it depends on my audience. <laughs> Yeah, always know your audience. Yeah, always know your audience. Play to your strengths. But no, we've had many conversations about this page. Yep. I mean, and then that other guy didn't get wood like twice. Yeah. And Remember? I, I and I'm feel like, you oh, can trace it. Oh, but you can, you can find similarities in all and of those guys. And those guys. Like, like they're really like wanna, nervous. But and, like in a and, weird yes, way. Yes, you don't ever want to go because they're, yeah, they're nervous in a weird way. They're really insecure and about things that they shouldn't be insecure about. Just like it's fun. Like sex is super fun. It's great. Yeah, and it's a, another way of expressing your love and, and or your lust or I don't know. It's like fun. And there's so many weird things connected to it yeah. that make it weird. Like, oh, I'm not going to give him my pussy until the third date. Like enough, <laughs> enough. Like own who you are. If you want to do it, then if it doesn't work out and he goes, you know, you're not really my cup of tea or he never calls you. So what? right then go on to the next like who cares about any of that there's so many 
weird things with sex or I can't do this and if I do that he'll think I'm this I, women ridiculous on a whole over own your pussy yeah. everything yeah. I own believe your that. pussy <laughs> okay own your pussy and stop overthinking and that's yeah. like something I've really worked on too to mm-hmm. stop overthinking every Absolutely. single thing Absolutely. Yeah. just Don't you have find a good that women time do that and you're like wait <clears throat> huh all of a sudden like they're tripping out and they're mad and you're like wait what happened and you're like w- yeah where did we go wrong right what exactly yeah. like what I happened? noticed that I noticed that with my with my 10 month old <laughs> <laughs> he thinks you he thinks you overthink things too. No, he's just kind of like like my daughter was really at ten months was really game face like she was game face she was determined she was focused. He's like, huh? Oh, oh no. I'm gonna take this and what's that? Oh, I'm gonna squirt this in my mouth. Right, and swallow it. You know, like he just he just is like a couple steps behind, and I hear that boys are like that. Your daughter had your number. By the time she was six months old, I was I looked at her and I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, like she's super totally had your it. number. Yeah, Do you remember if you would get like the least bit upset, she'd start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was in the car, I was driving right. her house one time on PCH, and nobody should have been on the road. There was a horrible storm, and I yes, was on you poor PCH. Thing. PCH. I mean, yeah, I was the only one Crazy. on PCH. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna die now. I put my child in peril. She was like, how many? I don't know, just to I come to my like, house, like you ten were... months old, and I'm like, uh, and and I'm like, uh, something was. I'm like, come move, move, and she starts laughing. She just thinks it's <laughs> hilarious anytime I got upset. <laughs> hilarious, like so funny. Like I'm the most hilarious thing, which brings me to listen. Yes. Well, th- that actually didn't bring me to this. But, you know, I had a bit of a realization that I was going over with Paige earlier, and I'd like to bring it up, um, is polygamy. Huh. Yes. <laughs> and I, I especially wanted to discuss it with you. Okay. Because um, when we hear about this stuff in the news, like, these guys get attacked, right? They just get attacked. Um, especially the man, how dare you? You have women. You're treating them like slaves. And so I did my research on this because, you know, I'm just going to put it, it seems like for a woman, it might be a cushy deal. (laughs) Seriously. Like I, I'm like, you have a lot of help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We may have been too harsh on these people. (laughs) Well, (laughs) I'm going to have to stay on this side of the tracks on this. It just doesn't work But like, what if, okay, what if, Mm -hmm. like you're exhausted, you're taking care of the kids all day, you're Mm -hmm. exhausted, you've made dinner. And he's like, come on, baby. Oh. Paige. I mean, never. I know. Like, and, and you've <laughs> dealt with the kids all day. Yeah. You're exhausted. You've made dinner. The kids just, one of them threw up. And the other one is screaming and crying. The other one won't listen to you. And he's like, come what? on, baby. It's nice that you could go, you know what, Julie? Julie, can you go in there tonight? <laughs> can you take one for the team? Okay. Barbara, Why Julie, can't? you go in. And... You could go, Julie, can you can you do it? And Julie's like, oh, yeah, sure. Hey, come on, let's go. I just think it's kind of a cushy deal mm-hmm. in a way. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to judge. <laughs> I would prefer to hire someone to help me with the children. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. I think you're right. And then I get all the nuggets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that would be nuggets. my preference. Yes, that would be... Um, uh, my preference. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just, you know I was that. just thinking about it. I just did some research. Yes. I just did some research on it and, and they seem to all be happy. I personally, it wouldn't work for me because I get tired of having so much, so many females in my life. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I love having a lot of females, but I wouldn't want to live. With I wouldn't, right. that's what I mean at all I times. Love I love female my female friends. Yeah. yeah. I would not want to live with everybody. Yeah, I either. love I love yeah. my girls, but mm-hmm. but having that much estrogen, and this is my thing. I just think it's just too much estrogen at right. one time. Yeah, I agree. It's with just you. it would it would get to me. Oh, those poor men in those circumstances. The the because, poor man. Because you know, yeah. like all the women's cycles align, oh. so everyone's having PMS at the same time. Yeah, Can you I imagine? Think that he just oh my god! Works. Like they all broke out in sweats. No, they're dying <laughs> over here. Yeah. Ooh, um, yeah. All right. Listen, we're we're coming to the end. Really? It's that insane. Was so fast. I know it's so fast. It's I know. so fast. I I have a little bit of a game. You do? Yeah, I always have a game. Oh god, I'm so and, bad at games. And, and s- are you? 
like really ridiculously bad. <laughs> so if I fail, I apologize up front. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, well you're not going to fail. Nobody fails here. All right. All right? Could have been a little too strong of a word. Everybody everybody wins and I'm sorry that I have my computer but my other computer died that's okay. connected to my printer. So I mean it's really unprofessional of me. I know. But um I need I am going to ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you give me, you give me what you think it is. Oh dear, this is where I'm bad. Okay, <laughs> go right ahead. All right, so can I have some help? Yes. Yeah. Thanks. What is a fuck boy? A fuck boy. <laughs> well, is that like a fluffer <laughs> in porn, or is a fuck boy somebody that you know you just have one night stands with? You'd think. Yes. You'd think. What is it? You'd think. Uh -oh. Do you guys know what it is? It, these are these are younger terms. These are terms of like 20-year-olds. These are new Which terms. Which I should know because I hear them all well, the time. Well, like in my your sons, your sons will be like, "Oh yeah, that's." Uh, um, I, but I should be texting a uh, a fuck boy. Yeah. Cuz I thought it was a guy who ja who I thought it was a guy you just have around to have sex with. Right. That's what I thought it yeah. was. Yeah, Cuz yeah. that's what it seems mm -hmm. like it would be. No, no. A fuck boy is a young man who sleeps with women without any intention of having a relationship with them or perhaps even walking them to the door post sex. You mean, He's a, like, sorry, I was just going to say, you mean every man in LA <laughs> is a fuck boy? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Every, all the men that I met in the last six years, because um, I've met a lot of tools in the last six years. I know you have. <laughs> I've had a front seat of that. I mean, just tool after the other. Um, okay, he's a womanizer, an especially callous one, mm. as well as Ooh. a kind of loser. Oh, my God. <laughs> this just part. gets worse it's and worse. not a person you want to hang No. <laughs> I mean, it's no funny that fuck we have... Boys. I should have that T-shirt. No fuckboys. <laughs> no that's fuck awesome. Boys? But that's... I, I love that we have a term for it now yeah. for such bad behavior and such horrible behavior that now we're terming it. Yeah, you don't have to say tools anymore. You can say fuckboy. Yeah, because a now tool we all now, because a tool was horrible. Yes. Like 10 years ago, a tool. Now it seems a little tame compared to this fuckboy, mm -hmm. right? It seems pretty tame. Mm -hmm. Like this guy's like mean. Yeah, no, that's terrible. And, and to me, I'm going like to go vindictive. this way. So yeah. I need to shut up my son. <laughs> Anybody? My, son. my son's having too much fun. He's screaming down. Um, <laughs> No, but to me, it's like, that guy's a bit of a desperado. Like, he's a bit, he's a little desperate. Like, why yeah, you do you don't have to around. lie so much? Like, why don't Terrible. you just be? You can get pussy without having to, you know, like, be such a liar. Like, to me, that just screams desperation mm -hmm. to me. Complete. Yeah. Complete. It's, th there's mental issues that go along with fuck boys, I'm going to say. Yeah, that. yeah, some serious yeah. mental issues. Yeah. Like, those guys are the ones who are probably can't get wood so they have to pretend like you're a stripper of some kind or right. something like that right yeah you know i've been there <laughs> really? i'm writing a book by the way I'm what, writing a book what's it called i can't say okay, okay. <laughs> well you know because the name you right. know the name i've told you it's and the I greatest can... title i think in the world Don't say it. i'm not gonna okay. say it because um, i just wrote a, a show about dating in la yeah i know she just wrote a show about dating it's pretty extraordinary. Do we want to talk about Young the Restless? Oh, right. Do you want no. to say anything? Okay. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, um, okay. What is, what is, what? what is a soft boy? Is that the guy? These are real who terms. Needs, no, this is a guy who needs to wear a Hanes t-shirt in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that too, but no. Closing the circle. Um, coming back, no, I, I mean, unless it's a guy who can't get wood, but you'd think, you'd think, yeah, that's a soft boy. Like you'd think that it's a guy who continuously can't get wood, or is a little doughy, or is doughy because he's doughy. soft. Right. You'd think. Is, is it like because going by the previous definition, is this like a guy who's really sweet and cares and emotional. doesn't emotional? Oh, doesn't yeah. look at where not? look at where I went. I went to jaded. Half of that is like true. That. Half no, of that is true. I'm just wondering based on the. Previous. You're right. Half of that is true. It's a guy who can't get it up. Right. You'd think it's a guy who can't get yeah. it up. Yeah. You'd think, okay, this is what it is. It's similar to fuckboy. Really? 
But without the cocky attitude, the soft boy will butter a girl up by appealing to her emotions and showing a sensitive side long enough for her to sleep with him whether or not he actually cares about her or not. Then, like the th- the fuck boy, he can't or won't commit differs any differs from the fuck boy. It's it's that guy who's like he just kind of is like, "Oh, you're so oh, wow, you're so smart. You make me feel so good." Then has sex with you and then afterward oh, I don't know what to do. My mom got sick and I have to go out of town or, oh, I'm working so hard we can't get together. I've dated so many of these. When this was when this was uh, told to me, the soft boy, before I'm asking you, um, I was like, oh, God, it's so many of the men I've dated. Now we're like terming the last it. One. What's wrong with men? Mm-hmm. Well... What's and happened? You know what? I What's up, happened? I brought up two men. And is it women too? You're bringing too? up one. And yeah. you're bringing up one. I'm bringing up our one. Responsibility. I would never, never. I'd be appalled if he ever treated a woman like that. I'd be appalled. Appalled. And if if I, I perceived agree. it, even if he was fucking 25, and I'm going to be 125 in my son's 25, <laughs> but... But in my chair, in my diaper, I'll be like, in what? In your electric wheelchair, <laughs> you're going to go after I'll his ass. I'll go after his ass and I'll be like, what the fuck are you doing? This is so appalling. It's not okay. Now, and and for guys watching, because so many men are watching this. Oh, really? I love it. Yeah, because they feel like it's a portal into a woman's mind. And it, it is. is. Oh, my God. <laughs> we couldn't have planned that better if we tried. <laughs> But I have men come on too, so they get to talk about oh, women. Good. Yeah, because I I, like I, I feel it's only fair. I feel it's Absolutely. only fair. I have to have men on too. Fair is um, fair. Fair is fair. That's it, Tracy. You're pretty extraordinary. I love you. You are. I love you, honey. And it's been amazing. Thank you for coming. So much fun, of course. And that's it. Bye. <laughs> Oh my god! On to phone nuts. <laughs> I've been looking at them the whole time. Oh my god! And they're gluten free. Yeah. Here's a gluten free one. Excellent. Have it. Excellent. It wouldn't it be funny if like now we just hated each other? I'd be like. I'd be like, oh. God. I can't wait to get in my. Car. <laughs>